there, and welcome back to one of the Thunder's Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Operation Realism review. Got another fucking cool one for you guys here. You guys know I love my military builds, and uh, I found a military build on the, on the map over here. It's been a while since I've been over here to Operation Realism and uh, checked out a lot of their stuff. I uh, had a couple reviews back last month, I think it was, and uh, and I didn't look down further south on the map. There is a really, really awesome base down here uh, that I thought I would fly around and show you guys. Uh, if you haven't been over here, uh, links are always in the description. Make sure you download their texture pack, uh, otherwise it's, it's not gonna look like this. <laughs> You'll have all kinds of weird colors and shit. Um, anyways, this one comes to you uh, from Namerbaum and Tesla, uh, two of the top tier builders over here on the server. They do a fantastic job, build all kinds of stuff. Namerbaum is the one that uh, did the, uh, the construction homes that I did a review on not too long ago. And uh, Tesla does uh, some of the military ships up there. He did the Wasp uh, up there by the shipping docks that uh, I just reviewed not too long ago also. And uh, does a fantastic job. He's got a PMC channel. Be sure to go check that out. I'll put the uh, link also down in the description. Uh, but like always, we jump in here real quick. Uh, give you guys uh, a nice overview of everything and get you some inspiration going. And uh, yeah, get you pumped up. If you haven't built nothing in a while in Minecraft, uh, you've hit a dry rut. Uh, be sure to come over here and check this out and get inspired. Uh, pull up their DIN map and take a look around. Uh, they've got lots of different warps, so you don't have to just kind of uh, take your time flying around to different areas if there's something specific you want to uh, to find on the map. Just do slash warps, and uh, and it will list a, uh, a page of warps. There's, there are three pages, so you have to do slash warps, slap, slash warps 2, and slash warps 3. That way you can see all the different warps that you can get to very quickly. Uh, for those of you that are not really, really server savvy, uh, those that are on the console, man, fucking sucks for you dude it really does uh because uh this this is just a fantastic place but that's why i do these reviews uh <laughs> so you guys can enjoy part of these too uh but anyway down to the review uh we've got some hangers over here this is actually based off of nolf in um i think san diego i think uh, it's definitely in california north island and it's what this is this is um for those of you who don't know what nolf is i didn't know i had to ask namer bomb uh, and Tesla a few things about the airfield before I did the review. Uh, this is basically a, a, a runoff airfield. It, it stands for Naval Outlying uh, Air, Airfield. This is basically, like I said, it, it's a runoff for, uh, for the military planes and helicopters and shit like that that aren't at a main base or on the ships or when the ships come into dock. Um, it's it's an overflow. They you know they fly the extra uh, the airplanes out here and the, this is where they store them. Uh, anyways, yeah, we got some F-18 growlers over here. And uh, again, I think uh, Tesla has these on his PMC channel. Really, really cool. Great inspiration right here. Look at this shit. This is at an angle, guys. Yeah, I didn't even realize that myself until I come down and took a closer look a few minutes ago. Uh, I was just flying over and I was like, yeah, that's neat. And I looked back and uh, yeah, the shit is at an angle. Uh, again, we fly up here so you can take a little bit better look at it from the front. Uh, and again, they build a little bit higher scale than I do. I think they do a 151 scale. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, basically you just take the uh, the length of the uh, the build that you're going to do and multiply it times, I think, 0.5 or some kind of shit. Or 1.5, yeah, I think it's 1.5. So basically if this was six, uh, 6 meters long, you'd multiply it times 1.5 and come out with 9. Uh, so basically that's, that's the scale that they use over here. Uh, it gets just a little bit bigger than what I use, uh, but they get a lot more detail into their build. Plus their texture pack has some really, really awesome textures that allows them to do certain things that, you know, the rest of us in the Minecraft world can't do. Hint. <laughs> Hint. <laughs> Wheels. Uh, yeah, we've got a nice Hawkeye right there too. And uh, we're going to fly over on this end. Now the runway is very big, so I may speed some of this up as I cross the airfield. Uh, just for uh, time-saving purposes, so there's, there's just a couple areas, main areas that I want to focus on in this review. Uh, we've got some, uh, I'm pretty sure these are uh, MH-60, I'm pretty sure that's what these are, uh, naval helicopters here. Again, guys, these are, these are built at angles, look at this shit. It's going that way. <laughs> that's fucking, that's awesome, man. Just totally, totally cool. I uh, got several of them going down the side. I think he's got four pads going down this side, uh, and this one here is getting is getting refueled. Is this not a great idea? Are you you guys got a base? You got some uh, airplanes or some helicopters sitting around? 
build a tanker man build a tanker and get some fuel to them things look at that that's so that's awesome that's great inspiration dude i am definitely borrowing that when i get back to my airfield uh, we got two more sitting down that way i'm not going to fly all the way down there uh, but i mean it pretty much looks the same i got some uh, really nice uh, runway markings uh, way down at the far end lots of good research done on this build uh, now sitting over here we i think we've got five pads going north to south and uh, i think these are the uh the uh, CH-53 C stallions, from what I can, from what I can gather, from my <laughs> from my old naval eye, I'm pretty sure these are C stallions. Uh, I may be wrong, and I'm sure they will correct me in the comment section, because uh, there's a lot of times I fly through here, and uh, and I don't have nobody to talk to. <laughs> Sometimes when I come over here right now, I think they're all at school, and uh, and, and I'm up because I can't sleep. Uh, so I don't have anybody to ask but last night I did send them both some messages and and try to get as much information about this build as I could but yeah look at that fantastic helicopter uh, but you can see it's it's definitely just a little bit bigger uh, than the scale that I use but it still looks great because their entire world is 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 like that um, it just makes it so much easier for them to uh, you know to match up their scales and everything you know fits together and uh you know, I've tried I've tried different scales in my own world, and it does work, guys. If you use uh, you know two different scales on your world, just don't put the shit next to each other. So uh, yeah, you can definitely get away with that. You know, if you built something one five scale, you know, especially like a, you know at an airfield, um, you know, in your city, if you're doing one one, it, it still works. I mean, you're not next to it, so it's not like you have something to you know compare that scale to. Uh, but yeah, that's just absolutely cool. All right, I'm going to fly down the other end of this runway and probably speed things up, and it's going to look funky. All right, so on my way down to the other end of the airfield, I actually cut straight across it. I went back, I, th I think I went back north. Uh, anyways, I don't know, I might have my directions wrong. I'm That's north, fuck it. <laughs> anyways, got, I got a really nice area here where the, he's got the, uh, the growlers parked with the wings up. And uh, I, I like how he's got uh, the, no, the different, I, he, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> he's got the, uh, the oil stains and stuff uh, down on the ground. Of course, you know, you're not going to have a perfectly, beautifully painted, uh, you know, parking area or runways or stuff like that. That's, you know, another thing that I really like about this server is just the, the different details. You know, for years I built a lot of my builds just as clean as possible. And, uh... And that's just not, it's just not accurate. You know, I always thought the dirty look looked dirty, <laughs> so I didn't do it. Uh, but, you know, as, a, as I've got to be a better builder, uh, I realized that it does, it, it really enhances the build and it makes it look so much more realistic. Got a nice little tower right there too. Uh, I got a tanker on its way to, uh, to fuel them jets up. Really nice design here using some uh, wood and possibly gold blocks, possibly, or it might be wool. Or it might be, you know what? Let's just check. <laughs> it's yellow wool. <laughs> I forgot I could pick up. I forgot I could pick up the materials. All right, one more place uh, I want to look at. Oh, there was something I, uh, I was going to mention too. Nammer Bomb uh, made a comment back to me about the runways. Uh, the thing is with the runways is it shares its vector number, uh, and and that probably doesn't mean jack shit to any of you guys, but. Um, there's there's definitely two runways here. We got you know one uh, 27 is the vector number and a 26. N normally, when you've got two runways at an airport and they're side by side, they will share the same vector number pointing in the, in, in this direction. So let's say it would be 27, and you would have a 27L and a 27R. Uh, so you'd have a left and a right uh, runway. This has two different vector numbers, so that's that's something very unique about this uh, this airfield. Again, some of you are like, oh, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> I thought it was interesting just because I did uh, a lot of research when I was doing my military air uh, airfield. Uh, there was you know some things like that that I you know I researched and I wanted to know about you know how to put them numbers down on the runways. And then, and if you don't know and you want to know how to do that, be sure to watch my uh, Let's Build a Military Airfield. Um, play with that i've got on my channel and i need to get back to that because we got a lot of shit to do up there but yeah we got some really nice mil uh, military vehicles here and uh this here is another overrun area he was telling me about uh they didn't actually build or plan on building the island that this base sits on uh so he said they were gonna just they still wanted to build it so it's in a big flat area on their world and uh, they want to use it for you know runoff uh for their vehicles some of their excess vehicles so they can show them off 
uh, especially you know their mil uh, military vehicles like this right here and guys this again is at an angle look at this the uh, nice little tip here these are built straight right but these are built at an angle so it, it, it just it just throws every it just throws you right off I mean because you, you see you look over here and these are built at angles right and this is built at a different angle it's just it's really really unique how they use different uh, different angles to build everything over here and it, it just it brings a whole new life to the build instead of just everything having uh, 90 degree angles uh, just just fantastic fantastic but anyways like I said come over here and check the server out give these guys some uh, some hollers and appreciation while you're over here tell them you love what they do and it inspires you and hopefully it does and you can find something over here on the server uh, every time I need some inspiration or just want to see some really cool builds other than my own this is where I come I come over here and uh, check out their stuff and uh, usually when the guys are on I chat to them but like I said I think they're in school right now and um, you know Jag's an old man and I don't have school but <laughs> like always guys I appreciate you watching remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one later